Hello, my most amazing artists. Welcome back to Art Class with Christy. Oh, I'm giving you a clue of what we're doing today. Can you guys see? I love it. We are going to paint a spectacular rainbow. Yay! I love rainbows. I hope that you guys do too. Um, I wanted to show you this rainbow. I can get it off the ledge. I think I can. I'm just... Whoops. <laughs> that didn't work. Hang on. Let me see if I can fix it up while we're going. Because, you know, we're unscripted. You know the deal? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. Don't pause me yet. Oh dear. Uh, oh no, wrong way. <laughs> No, right way, just not in the right order. There we go. All right, let's try again. I have this timber rainbow that's really cool. And it's really cool because I've written on it. Can you guys see? It says, in this room, you are loved. You are important. You matter. You are brave. You are an artist. And that's totally what you are when you do one of my art classes. Even if, if you don't do my art classes, but you like to draw and color and paint and make and create, you are totally an artist. I'm gonna put that rainbow off to the side. <laughs> and we're gonna do this one today. And on mine, it says, always look for rainbows. You might like to think of some cool words to put on yours. I'm, um, we, we actually don't need to have a practice draw today because it's pretty simple. We, we draw in lots of rainbow shapes in the studio. Um, so I need to tell you what you need. That's it, right, okay. <laughs> um, I'm gonna draw with my black pencil, but you can totally draw with a lead pencil. You can have a rubber handy if you need. You need paper. I'm using like a little bit heavier paper. I'm gonna paint with acrylics today. This one is on a canvas, so if you wanted to paint it on a canvas, you could totally do that. Um, but you don't have to, you can do it on paper like me if you want to. You can, if you don't have paint, acrylic paint, so I'm going to use my acrylic paints in my ice cube tray, like that. Um, if you don't have them or you can't use paint, you can use watercolour. If you have watercolour paint, you can totally do it. If you can't use watercolour paint, you can use textures, you could use crayons. You guys, whatever you have at home in art supplies, that's what you could use if you're allowed. Um, I'm going to paint with my hands for some of it because I really like that. So if you like to paint with your hands, come paint with your hands with me or you can have some brushes handy. So I've got a big brush here, which I probably wouldn't really need unless I do a small rainbow. Um, and I've got a medium brush here, just like that. That would probably do the whole picture, that one brush. Looking, oh, where I've written my words, I've written that with a white Posca paint pen. Um, you know how sometimes we use a black one? I've used a white one. This is what a white one looks like. Now, if you don't have one, you could use a permanent marker still. You could use a black permanent marker. I just do white just to be different. Um, and you don't even have to put words on it if you don't want to. Totally your choice. We like lots of words at, at Coco, so usually our art is covered in lots of words too. All right, I think, I think I'm ready to pause. I'm look, oh, you need, if you're gonna paint with your hands, so I'm almost nearly ready to pause. You're gonna need some either baby wipes or a washer, a wet washer, so you can clean your hands. Um, I think that's a pot of water, a pot of water, because we're gonna use a brush. I think we're good to go. So I'm going to hit pause. Oh, you guys hit pause. I'm going to make my heart. I'm paused. You should have all your supplies by now. So I'm feeling a bit clever because I kind of haven't forgot, even though we have the little rainbow mishap. That's okay. 
We're good to go. All right. So rainbows. This one's got an extra line in it because I was being really clever. But if I need to do one, two, three, Right, let's see. I'm going to go tall, I'm going to go big down to small. So I'm going to start out wide, come up nice and tall. It's a, it's a nice tall rainbow. Now you can see mine's got a bit wonky. I actually love a wonky rainbow, <laughs> it makes me smile a lot. So I'm not going to rub that out at all. I love it already. I love it. I can tell I love it. So I'm going to put another line here. I'm going to follow them up. And they don't have to be perfectly even. So this is going to be my red colour. I'm going to go red, orange, yellow, green, indigo, violet. Coming up for orange. yellow and you can see in mine some of them are a little bit wider than other parts it's okay it doesn't matter at all remember how i always say it, it makes it interesting to look at it makes it interesting to look at it really does so we've got red orange yellow green Indigo, indigo is blue, and violet. And a really skinny bit in the middle. Let me check. Red, orange, yellow, green, indigo, violet. I know, I feel like I've forgotten the colour. Green, indigo, blue, violet. I have. I have. <laughs> oh my goodness me. Yeah. Alright, so I can put, I'm going to leave it for now because I kind of like this space in here. What I did want to tell you is if you don't want to do a traditional rainbow, totally don't have to. We can tell, we can identify as we colour it that it's a rainbow purely because of the shape. So if you wanted to be bold and do all aquas and blues, you can totally do that. If you wanted to be bold and do all warm colours or mix it up, totally you can do that. Um, I had an amazing artist do a black background and put stars in the background and I loved it. It looked amazing and it's something that I wouldn't usually do, but it looked really cool. So I love being inspired by other people, um, especially amazing little artists. We're gonna get started. I'm gonna stick with these colors up the back. Paint hand, hi paint hand. And I'm going to use, I've got this pretty blue color and this aqua color. So I'm going to do a mix of both and I'm just going to start by smooshing some paint on. So I've dipped two fingers into the paint. If you don't like the feel of paint on your hands or you don't want to paint with your hands, that's okay. Use your brush. And you can see me spreading the paint with my fingers. I want to spread it out. Um, and then I'm going to get some aqua. So it blends in and I'm actually going to pop some white on there too because I want to lighten it up a little bit. So a little bit of aqua. Come down. A bit more aqua and then I'm going to try and work quickly to come close to the edge of the rainbow with some white. So it lightens it up a fair bit. can find some white. There's some white. So I've got white on two, two of my fingers and my thumb now. And I'm going to spread it close. 
It doesn't really matter if I go inside the rainbow a little bit, because it's a bit of a messy one anyway. Spread that bit off my thumb. All the way down, I need a little bit more white. And I can just use one finger here down this side. Make sure you spread it out so you don't get any gloopy bits. You know the gloopy bits that we sometimes have. It will take too long to dry. So I want it to look the same in this middle section here. So I'm just going to use that white, that light white aqua colour. Oops. And there's still some aqua on my fingers, you guys can see it. So I can I smoosh, smoosh my fingers around a little bit. I put my, one of my friends, one of my amazing artist friends just went past and I cut the corner of my eye. Whoa! Nearly lost it. There we go. Yeah, I like that. It's got a tiny bit grey in there because of the black pencil, but that's okay. We can live with that. Looks pretty cool. I'm happy with that. I'm gonna clean my fingers. So then we can start on the colors. So I'm just gonna give my hands a quick wipe with my baby wipe. Because I think that I want to keep painting with my hands. I feel like I'm, I need to paint with my hands today. Some days I do, some days I don't, but I really feel like I need to paint with my hands today. So if you want to keep painting with your hands as well, I would love for you to do that. I'm going to have a little sip of my coffee. And I'm just deciding whether I'll go from inside to out doesn't really, I'm thinking whether it will really matter because I can be really careful. And in between, you can leave yours to dry if you need to. If you're really careful, you can keep going though. So I'm going to, I'm going to start with the inside because I can see up here, I need to let this dry a little bit, these edges. Whereas down here, I feel pretty confident that that's fairly dry. So I'm a traditional rainbow girl most of the time. Um, so I'm going to go traditional. So if I go, oh, I'm actually going to write it. Yeah, I'm missing one so Can you see my brain thinking here? That's okay. I'm going to start. I'm going to do purple. So I'm only going to use one finger because I can tell my, my lines are pretty much just a finger space. And if I paint with my hands, with my finger, it's, it makes the, the painting really smooth. Which is a little bit different from the brush and I have actually got really good control. So I'm just following the line. I'm trying to think what colour I'm going to leave out because I know that I didn't do enough lines. I can't decide. Yeah, 
Yeah, can you see it? It's a little bit messy, but I like it. I like it that it's messy. That's making me happy. Need to clean my hand again. I can use the same baby wipe. Because I'm trying not to be wasteful either. I don't like to waste baby wipes, having a new one each colour. And it doesn't have to be perfectly clean. Can you, you guys can see I've still got a little bit of paint on there. That's okay. So which, um, I'm going to leave out the blue, I think. Yeah, so there's two blues. So I'm going to leave out the darky blue, the indigo colour. And I'm going to come in with this one. So I've sort of started at the middle and I'm going to travel down. Do you know what I usually do, which I've just thought of? Usually, I leave that one and go to the next one. So this one's got a chance to dry. That would have been a little bit more better, wouldn't it? But because I'm using my fingers, I can be really careful. And if it smushes into each other a tiny bit, that's, it's okay. Because remember I said, this isn't a perfect rainbow. It's a little bit wonky. But you guys can tell I'm taking my time. And if I smush a little bit of purple like I just have, just grab a little bit more blue and go over there. I'm actually going to use my little pinky finger because it's feeling left out. No, not really. It's just because it's smaller. There we go. It's really good practice to use your hands actually. I can see tiny tinges of purple in the blue. That's okay. I can live with that. Now I've got this ring and this ring up, but I've got blue. So I'm going to come back up here on down this side. Your big human might like to do this with you if you were a little human painting this. They might like to get some paint on their hands and paint with, with us together. So I'm using my little finger all the way down on this one. I haven't smushed nearly as much purple on this side. Tricky to paint with your hands, now I've got those two. I'm going to clean again, clean my hand. I love that it's not perfect, that it's it's a little bit thick up here and it's a little bit thin down here. I love that. I'm still trying to spread my paint right out so I don't have those gloopy bits. I want a um, relatively clean hand. So I've got a tinge of blue on them, but that's okay. I'm going to jump. You might even like to give them a bit of a wipe with a towel, an old towel that's dry. So uh, this time I'm gonna jump. I'm gonna leave the green and I'm gonna paint yellow. Paint yellow and blue. So jump, leave a space, and I'm gonna paint yellow. There we go. Why do you think I would do that? Class in art class, I would ask, why do you think that I've missed? And given that I've just done one, that's a really good clue for you. That's right. So, my colours don't touch each other and they've got a chance to dry in between. Well, a bit much paint on my finger there. The cool thing with painting with your hands, did you see what I just did there? I had too much on this one, so I started with that and then I spread it with this one. It's like I've got a couple of brushes handy. That was people, if you could hear that, that was people out the front of the studio talking. A 
it down the head. Spread it out over the top. And I can feel the outside's already starting to dry, which is kind of cool. I have to reload more often than what I would do with a brush. To reload my pointer finger. Cleaning my hand again. So this time I'm going to skip and I'm going to come out to the red. It just makes more sense. I'm sorry I forgot to do that the very first time. I'll find some red. I love painting with my hands so, so much. I do it at home a lot when I paint. It's lots of fun. And if you've tried it and you don't like it, that's okay. Good on you for having a go. Sometimes it's hard to try new things. And sometimes you might not like the feel of the paint on your fingers and that's okay, you don't have to keep doing it. You can change and use a brush. That side's done. And you can do it this side. This bit has blended in with the aqua. It's got a tiny bit. It's sort of like a maroni colour. It's not worrying me. I like it. So I'm going to leave it like that. Step back and have a look. It looks really cool. I really, really like it a lot. I'm going to clean my hand. Now this time, I could probably let, give it a little bit to dry, pop it in the sun for a little while. So these, so the in between, so these will all dry really well before I come back. I'm going to risk it for the risk it. Okay, are you with me? You don't have to. You can let yours dry. Totally okay. But. I'm not clever enough to know how to pause and, and blend videos and stuff like that at the moment, so I'm still learning. Remember? It's been all, it's, it's a long learning journey for me. And that's okay. I'm gonna come back and do the green. And I've got this really bright lime green, which I kind of like a lot. Yeah. I'm just gonna go careful. So if you wanna join me, go careful. If you wanna let it dry, let it dry. Pause me and come back. But go really careful and not put a lot of paint. So don't load. I'm not loading my finger up too much. Can you see? Just a little blob. Just a little blob. But go in the other colours. It's, it's not the end of the world. It's not even the end of the rainbow. Nobody knows where that is. All the way down. Not too bad. Not 
Those aren't too bad. Take my time. Just like if I was using a paintbrush, I'm taking my time. Clean my hand again. One last colour to do. Orange. We'll get some orange on here. So again, you could you could have been letting this dry and then come back. I'm risking it with a biscuit. <laughs> Even though I don't have any biscuits, you know, I'm risking it with a biscuit. And these colours, orange and red and yellow, are all warm colours. So if they touch each other and they blend, they're friends. They won't go a yucky colour. So that's cool. I actually didn't know that I was going to do this one with you guys this morning. I had it decided. It's a very spur of the moment. But I like it. I like that we're hanging out painting rainbows with our hands. Or with a brush. Whatever you're painting. Okay, You might have thought of some really cool words to put on your rainbow or if you like if you love it like this if I love it like this I think that will look awesome stuck up on a wall or on your fridge somewhere that will remind you that rainbows are ace how cool is that I love it I love 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 it I'm gonna bring it close so you can see you see, it's a little bit messy. But it's so cool. I actually love it so much. I'm just checking to see if there's anywhere dry on it that I can write on it. These little flying friends visiting us today. I don't know what they are. Maybe they're checking to see if it's dry too. I'm actually dry there, but I'm thinking if I ride over it because I'm a lefty, I'm going to smoosh that there. It's pretty dry there too. Oh, that's... So I'm going to grab, okay, just making sure it's not sticking to my clipboard. Um, so right here, it's quite white here. So what do you think would happen if I write with white text to here? White Posca, and it's white there. That's right, you camouflage. You, you guys are so clever. You're so clever. So I'm going to use a black one, I think. And I might use, I think I'm going to use a permanent marker. So this is just like a Sharpie. This one's a Pilot permanent marker. And... What shall I write today? I haven't been thinking about it. I'm going to write...
got to be careful because I can see this orange is really shiny. That's how you know if your paint is still wet that it's shiny. Um, I can actually probably turn it this way. See if I can do it. I'm going to write always this is tricky it's, it's tricky because I can see this is wet I'm trying not to slide over my hand always be I'm going to go with kind because I love kind I love kind people, I love kindness in that way. Mm. Always be kind. And I've like put a little love heart on the full stop. Can you guys see that? Now, if I wrote over wet paint, this marker or the Posca or anything that you have that's permanent will not be friends with wet paint. It will go, nah, not working anymore. So you must wait until you have some dry. So if that means that you have to take a little break and let it sit out in the sun and dry, let it dry. Then your equipment will stay friends with you and the paint. Now, I can call this done, but not finished. Why can't I call it finished? Who knows? You guys, you're so clever. I know that you're so clever because you're telling me that I have to sign it. Sign it, Christy. So when I sign it, I can write my first name or my last name. I can use my initials. Um, and in my art class, you can sign it wherever you like. Anywhere at all. I'm going to sign mine down here today because I can see it's nice and dry. So when I sign, I draw a love heart. And I write, then I can call it finished. Finished, finished, finished. And I love it. It looks super cool. All painted with my hands. Um, so I hope that you have had fun with me today painting. If you've used your hands, make sure you wash your hands now. If you have painted, Clean up your space, make sure you have a spectacular, spotless space. Say it with me. A spectacular, spotless space. Then, you could ask your human, because your human is going to be really happy if you clean up your mess. My big human, could, do you think you could send a picture to Christy? of my artwork she would love to see i know she asks all the time you can send it to her on facebook or instagram or you can message it to me however is easy for you to send me you could hashtag art class with christy um and that would be ace i would love to see your artworks because i it makes me smile totally makes me smile um i think that's am i forgetting anything have i forgotten anything I don't know. I don't think so, but I hope, I, I, I feel like I've forgotten. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking now. I'm going to say thank you for joining me again. Thank you for painting and creating with me. You are all amazing artists. Until I see you again, I'm going to say bye for now.